Um, well, I've got Mark and uh, Simon Armitage back with me. And uh, all right, lad. Hey, oh, I thought you called me Mark then. I did. I did. Hey, <laughs> slip of the tongue, <laughs> slip of the tongue. Oh, <laughs> yeah. The facade drops. See a spot of respect creeping in there, right, Simon. Yeah. See, you know, he idolises me, really. You know. <laughs> yes, okay. That's steady. Don't milk it. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. Right. Uh, so, uh, what are we doing anyway? Because I mean, you've been. Uh... I don't know. I just. I mean, I've been in there listening all night, and it's all right. You know. Mm, thank you. It's above average, anyway. I think. I Move think... over, Gillian Reynolds. Yeah, but um, Simon's been really good. But I'll tell you what. I mean, I think you're pushing your luck here, that kid. You know, you did a poem about your mum. Yeah. And you did a poem about your mechanic. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, I could do that, can't they? I mean, there's a plot behind it, you know? I mean... Well, like, get my car done free, that well, sort of thing. Does that work, that kind of stuff? Oh, I don't know. I would have busted him, wouldn't I? Mysterious words. Well, you mentioned what they call Davy Browns all the time. I mean, uh, you know, will you get your sort of gearbox put in for now? Might time? nip round there tomorrow, see if they'll just... That's his uh, tractor fix for free, <laughs> and it's like, you know, you get, you get any kestrels that go in his garden, watch out, free taxi, to <laughs> tell you. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. I saw Davy Browns, so will I get mine done now, then? I've mentioned him twice. Davy Browns. Three times that. <laughs> What do you reckon for a new gearbox? <laughs> They've closed it, haven't actually. Have they? Oh, that's not recommended. Oh, that's not a bad idea, that, though. I mentioned you don't mind me doing this, do you, Wack? What are you going to do? You're going to write something, are you? Well, I'm just inspired now to write something, if you don't well, mind. Well, you get on with that, because, I mean, obviously, like, uh, Simon's got to uh, delve into our uh, listeners' sack, hasn't he? So, uh, what well, was... Delve, delve. Delve, delve, delve. delve, delve. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's another great point here. By somebody called... Scribble Quiet Alar. We can't... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Who's this by? Andy Butterfield from Maidstone, and it's a poem called There's More to Upton Than That. And it's about this place, Sir Upton, in Dorset. And it's very funny, because there's a guy out there in, in the booth there, and he's from the same place. Who's that? Uh, it's that, that chap just sat around the corner, just around there. He should come oh. in and do some of these little dialect bits for us. Cliff. Cliff. Cliff, Cliff. yeah, Cliff. Come on, get uh, your howdy do for in here, our kid. There's, there's a word in it, which is snow, which apparently is... Uh, uh, it says, um... My dad supplied the dialect. Apparently, snut means mate or son or something. All right, shift out, lad. Let Cliff sit down. You're going to come and do the snuzz, Cliff? Snow. Yeah. All right, Cliff. Don't be nervous, our kid. If it, if it starts falling apart, just go, ha-ha. Ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to follow the text. Snow. So, yeah, just, just to sort of preempt it. You've where got, it, where got... is this place, Cliff? Where is it? Up, Upton, it's in Poole, in Dorset. All right, and you're from there, I'm right? from Parkstone, which is next to Upton. Song, didn't he? Upton, <laughs> <girl>. <laughs> Upton, yeah, yeah, he did, yeah. Upton Park, that's there as well, isn't it? Right. We'll just do the first two verses, I think, so there's a mm. snow there and a snow there. Snow. Yeah, you give the full Upton Express. Snow. Really. Yeah, OK. Did it ever occur to you to work this out beforehand? <laughs> uh, or, you know, not wasting valuable national airtime? It's, it's very deadpan, this, very deadpan, all right? No, because it's right. meticulously... Well, go on, just do it. <laughs> There's more to Upton than that. Upton is in Dorset. It's a suburb of Poole. It's got a church and an infant school. It's got some garages, eight feet high, a patch of grass and a patch of sky. But there's more to Upton than that. Who ah, there's more to Upton than that. Snow. There's a bench near the library <laughs> where we like to sit and plenty of heathland where my dogs like to shat. We've got four <laughs> news agents and a health centre too. So, with Upton Youth Club, there's plenty to do. But there's more to Upton than that, who are. There's more to Upton than that. Snow. Yes, brilliant. Uh, well, fantastic. All that time was well spent, wasn't it? <laughs> Thank God it wasn't wasted, that airtime, getting that together. Simon Armitage and uh, Cliff. And, uh, gosh, a fantastic performance poetry. Right? A, a it was good, act, wasn't it? A double act. The Harbottles of Ferguson. Right, thanks very much, Cliff. Yes, uh, see you. Sorry. Hurry back. Right, OK, lad, have, uh, have you finished your... Uh, I, I have, there. actually. Right. Oh, sorry, have you finished what you were doing, Simon? Yeah, I've, I'm through. Are you? Very yeah. good, very good, that was. Yeah. Right, so what, uh... Well, this has just been inspired by Simon's earlier works, and it's an ambulance, ambulant crossover piece, which means just shut up for a minute, will you? Right, hey? OK, so, okay. Uh, is there something in this for you? I mean, you know, it better be a proper poem, this, and not just a shameless plug to get something for now. God, I mean, you know, you're cynical of what, hey, Simon? Snow. Hey, just snow. No. <laughs> shut well, up. Shh. Hush! Hush! Will ya? <coughs> a crate of Bell's whiskey makes me feel frisky. A year's supply of Guinness in a can makes me a dead happy man. Any kind of sports car. Bird's eye fish sent to me at the Beeb. Ooh, I wish. I wish. Oh, God.